Okay, right on. We're taking number two here because I screwed up the video the first time around. All right, we have our first Steve's Auto Care. Yada, yada, yada. Thanks for watching. Right on. We're doing good. All right, 2011 Kia uh, Soul. The complaint on this car is a uh, misfire with check engine light. I test drove the car. Check engine light's blinking. Uh, it's got a five-speed manual. And so the car is shaking and yada, yada, yada. So uh, let me go through. I'm going to put you up on this thing to try to hold the camera in place. And we're going to go through the diagnostics with this. I've already done it once, so just bear with me. If I can do this correctly. There we are. Okay, we'll get you angled up a little bit better there. All right. So, uh, first thing I want to do is verify uh, spark out of cylinder number two. So, we're going to pull this coil connector off, like so, and pull this out here. Then, uh, I go to my spark test kit and pull this guy out, which is just a long adapter. to Go down in the hole there. And then we're going to put this guy right into here, all the way down in there. And we're going to plug that guy into there. Like so, get it nice and deep. Get your head out of the gutter. And we're going to plug this in. If I can get it lined up with the connector. Okay. Now, if this coil is working, we should see something blinking. So I'm going to start the car up and see what happens. No blink. Okay. So now what we're going to do. To further our diagnostics. Let's think about this. There are a couple things that can cause a cylinder to misfire. Spark plug being bad. Coil being bad. Injector being bad. Or bad cylinder itself. So what we have just did here in this quick little test. Was verify that we didn't have spark out of our coil. So, we don't know if the spark plug is okay or not. More than likely, you know, it's an inanimate object, and it's probably okay. A little worn, but it should still handle a spark. But we know, without spark out of the coil, that spark plug is dead anyway. So let's try to verify if it's not the coil, but the computer signaling the coil. Now, we could get a lab scope and check it out and whatnot, but why? We got some good coils already sitting here. So we can do this same test with the, a good coil. Yeah, make sure that's all the way down in there. And for giggles, we'll plug this into number four here. So what we've done is swap cylinder number four with cylinder number two and we're going to verify that the computer can fire the coil and if that's the case then we should start seeing blinky here with this coil that was on number four so let me go start the car up again you see that so that tells us that the computer is working and that we have signal to the coil. I didn't have to pull out a scan tool. I didn't have to pull out the lab scope or anything like that. So we verified beyond any doubt that our coil that was on number four. Uh, that this number two coil is dead. Because you see the engine shaking. So number four is misfiring. And if it wasn't, then we'd have worse misfire anyway. So, there we go. There's a simple way to diagnose a coil unplug misfire to verify what's bad and what's not. Now, keep in mind that what usually will take out a coil is a worn out spark plug with a gap that's big enough that you can drive a truck through it. 
and that's what the case was here. The gap on the spark plug was really big. And what I found out is some of the Kias are, they come shipped with standard resistor or uh, standard champion spark plug. So they were out at 60,000 miles. If they went to iridium or even double platinum, you could probably take it up to 100,000, but I wouldn't want to leave those spark plugs in the aluminum head for 100,000 miles. That's a whole different scenario. But anyway, I'm going to shut this off, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.